I have a mission, which is I want people to know about Zypher. I'm going to play his music as much as I need to so that people can then go and listen to him play the music. And then I'm going to go do my music. What I heard in Zyfert was somebody doing something that I thought had never been done on the violin. Von Freeman, who's the great tenor saxophone player in Chicago, who is a uh, you know living, walking, breathing, playing uh, bastion of you know the history of jazz from you know swing through the avant-garde, and uh, he has a jam session every Tuesday night down at this place called the New Apartment Lounge. We played a tune together, and you know. I thought I was kind of like, you know, doing some hip stuff, I guess. And I talked to Dave afterwards and he said, yeah, you know, you should check out this guy, Big Niff Zyfert, or Zbig New Zyfert, or whatever, you know, people, it's not, not the easiest name to say. And I had, somebody said something about this guy and then I was never able to find any records. So then this guy, Dave Kakowski, who I was, you know, I much admired, you know, as just a really amazing modern jazz piano player like saying how you know this guy Zyfert came to New York in the 70s and how you know Liebman and all these all these people played with him and you know everybody knew that you know Zbigniew was super bad and I had not even heard a note of this guy it took me about another year to actually find one of his records and um, and then when I did um, it was all it was all, like another one of those moments of like when you first listen to like Late Train where it just there was so much information and it was not fitting into my idea of how I you know what I was you know showing up with certain listening expectations it defied a lot of those and even after I got the record it took me about a year for it to really sink in like I listened to it and I knew that it was amazing but it also made me feel weird and I couldn't figure it out and I kind of let it just sort of sit for a while and then I came back to it and this sort of began this obsession because then I, I started to perceive this significance in this guy's playing about how Zyfert is really this really important part of, I mean he's, he is the most important part of the link between modern jazz and people playing modern jazz and the violin and the present, and he's completely obscure. Um, and the more I found out about him, the more bizarre it seemed, because he wasn't some guy that lived in a foreign country who you know, lived in some little town and who learned how to play some great stuff and then died really young. What I heard in, in Zyfert was um, something that I think that every person that plays any instrument would strive for um, which is, uh, you know, uh, an uncompromising integrity in their music and their performance, and deeply emotional. So we're, we're doing a documentary film right now that uh, it was slated to come out in 2009, and actually some amazing things have happened. Um, the city of Krakow, um, knowing about this film, has decided to have a three-day festival at the end of 2009, and um, that's gonna be kind of the, the final piece of the film. But in the meantime, we've already been going over to Europe and, and interviewing people, and we've been interviewing people in New York, and learning about this, this musician that that the world needs to know about.